You're going to be an old time flyer. I'm going to be an old time flyer. At join least at me, first. Join me at Sunset Beach. All right? join I'm me, a shooter. Join I'm a me scorer. At the old town flyer. All right. And, and here's the thing with the, the parks you do get a boost depending on which affiliation you pick. Now, there's been a lot of questions about the park, and I know a lot of people want to see it. But hold on. Wait, 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 don't go traveling. I ain't traveling yet. yet. He's just trying to show off. Right now, we are at. Oh, by the way, the so Old Town Flyers. You, you can't just travel whenever you want. Right. By the way. So let's let's talk about yeah. this a little bit. So that's let, what let, the, let's that's talk, what Rival Days was about. Which we'll we're going to get into all this, but I'm going to I'm going to read you guys some stuff. So <laughs> what does it mean to be an Old Town Flyer? <laughs> old Town Flyers are all about looking good on the court. They like the flashy passes and the size ups. That's me. They're also tight defenders that may lead to quite a few fast breaks capped off with an alley oop dunk. So these are the flashy players. This is where you're going to want to come if you're going to want to be that flashy type of player. Now let's uh, let, let's talk about the other parks, right? Should should we kind of stay on here on topic here? Should we uh, travel? Let's go travel to. Uh, no, no. Well, well, let's talk about the whole. The whole ability I want, I want, to I want to talk travel. about the parks oh, you first. Want to talk about so then, you want me to go there. travel? Yeah. So go travel. Right, so on, I, I how you travel now. in uh, NBA 2K15 is really simple. So as Ronnie is doing his, walking to do. his jog, and we'll get into what you could do. It's not just jogging this year. You're not just going to be jogging around. We're going to get into all oh, of this yeah, yeah. very, very shortly. Yes, uh, absolutely. Pan the camera to the left, though, because we got to show off some of the, uh, yeah, the natural that. living, breathing world that goes on around you. Is that a bus you. over there? That is a bus. Uh, there's a tow truck. That there's is, a train there's up there. There's a cop car coming by, so you all better be appropriate to each um, other be, on the be, court. Be, be uh, let's go and travel to another court. So when you're on these courts, and oh, you can't this. travel off the start, and we're going to get into this right now, uh, let's go to Rivet City right oh, there. Oh, look at that. What is that? The Jordan we'll Rec Center. I think later. a lot of people are going to be playing on Jordan Rec Center. But let's go over to Rivet City. So Rivet City is, uh, is going to be I'm your, that your place on my earring, for a more uh, grittier type. And right now when you come in here, I know a lot of people are asking about leaderboards and statistics. You're going to see right here. This is that beautiful see, concept. You're going to see the way. ranking and also the highest rep in Old Town when you enter this park. So you're going to see your, your points per game average. Uh, you're the only person wandering these parks, so this is like an exclusive I first know. look at everything. So I'm welcome so to Rivet City right here, uh, as you're seeing on the screen. The Rivet City Rough Riders are the physical type. What they don't swat out of the air will end up being rebounded. And on the offensive side of the ball, stay clear. Town's unless you're dead, fond, man. Town is dead. Stay clear unless you're fond of being posterized by a slam so hard it will literally shake the screen. So... The Rivet City Rough Riders is definitely going to be the home for the grittier, in-your-face, powerful my players out there. This is so awesome. And uh, this is a really cool park. And look at, check out that 2K sports oh, fan right there. That's where I'm camped Chilling out. Chilling uh, in the I'm, background. I'm, uh, that's 2K police right there. Yes. That's playing, where I'm going to be Playing sitting. under the pollution, man. you got to be tough when you're playing under pollution. Uh, but what a cool park. And you can check out the grittier backboards, the rims. This thing is like, just living, breathing. And this is all going to be filmed. In so three real, days. real quick, in uh, we're going to talk about rival days in a second. Yes. Just so you guys understand, uh, we're going to talk about rep in a second too. Yes. But I am not a, um, I have higher rep than you normally. And would we're going to talk about that in a minute. Now we'll we have one that. more. Let's go to the home where I'm going to be balling. This is my affiliation. This is what I'm going to be squatting up with with my friends. Those who want to join me, this is where it's going to happen. We're going to get oh, that. You know, come point. on, you want to join? You want to join me? This is this is the Sunset Beach Ballers. I, uh, I come from Southern California, and even though up here in Northern California, they say, hey, we got real beaches. They're not real beaches unless you're down in Southern California. And this is what it reminds me of so much. No. It has that Miami vibe. Popo. This is, and yes, there's police patrolling around as well. Uh, this is the Sunset Beach Ballers in Ronnie 2 k Let's give them a shot of the water, the beach. Let's look at how beautiful this park is. This is where I'm going to be balling. And when you're balling. That is a pretty park. The Sunset Beach Ballers it's are all boys. about scoring. Anybody that knows my play style, I love to score, I love to shoot. And uh, from layups to mid-range jumpers to long threes, these players cannot be left open for one second. So if you want to be that sharpshooter type, you want to be the shooting scoring type, Sunset Beach is where you're going to want to be. So this is going to be the park that I believe I'm going to be rolling with uh, and playing on. And again, sand. not only uh, you see the sand, you can see the water out there in the background. Not only uh, is this just an awesome park, but each park has a different style of court. Still like going to get a, a burger at the uh, over there. Visually, uh, all these parks differentiate from each other uh, as well as uh, statistically. So, you know, with that said, uh, to, to be clear on how affiliations work, and by the way, shout out to Jay, the dev behind yes, the park. Yes, uh, absolutely. The vision behind the park. We're going to put up this yeah. entire fact, this entire blog, 
after this stream. It's going to break down everything about the park stuff. Information that you're getting right now Jay, is coming directly Jay from Jay. Jay is the guy behind Jay, this, thank and you he, so much he drops this. so much info for us, and we really appreciate it. Um, should I go into the rec center, or what am I uh, Hold on about the rec okay. center. I don't think people are that excited about the rec center. Just hang <laughs> on about the rec center. Uh, no, maybe we don't even show the rec center. This, uh, this with broadcast. that said, you can be a shooter in Rivet City or a big in Sunset Beach. It's not like it limits you to the type of player you are. I'm going back to the my town. The boosts you receive are meant to only be comp complementary to areas that you may be focused on. They will not make you dominate in any discipline. This is just adding to what kind of player you are. So you want to specialize in things. I can go play as a shooter in any of the parks. Yeah. But you're going to get those small only, little Only if you can travel, though. Only if only, you can travel. And, and so, there's so only two ways you can that's travel. That's a great segue. So let's, uh, let's hit L2 for a minute so we can show the people this. How do you squat up? When you're on a park and there's going to be my players running around, you hit the L2 button. There's no one here. And obviously. there's no one here, but you're going to see all the rep and all the players that are in that park. To the left, you're going to see the affiliation that they're associated with, and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, you're going to see Ronnie's an overall 63. You click on Ronnie, you're going to see his points per games, rebounds per games, assists per games, so and you get his stats of that individual player. Whoa. Okay. Oh, my God, look at that amazing glorified. That's beautiful. How did that happen? Where, when did you get that shot? Was uh, that, that's pretty. That's a very, that's a pretty that's very glamorous. That's a Thank very, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, Extravagant? No. Um, <laughs> Zoolander. That's, oh, that's a very you. Zoolander of you. Uh, but here's the thing about, the cool thing about the parks. Uh, so you hit L2 again, Ronnie. You're going to see a list right here on the left side. When you go down, you invite a friend. You can only Brush squat up with off. people in your affiliation. When you go down and you see a guy that you want to squat up with, you're going to hit X. Now, right now, there's no one in the park, so I can't really showcase this. It's going to say invite to squad. He will have to accept, and then he's in your squad. You can't just have somebody join some random squad. You have to actually send out an invite, be the squad leader, and invite them into your squad. When you're squatted up, Ronnie, you can press circle now, you're going to have both the got next spots. So if you're just rolling alone or you're rolling with a friend you're running around, you can hit X right there, Ronnie, and hop on the got next spot if you want, which, by the way... Or you can head up on the... The squad spot. The squad spot. Are... This will not be available unless you have a squad of three on the park because three is the max now. So you need to be in the squad to be able to get on the spots. This is going to allow for two things. Now, people are asking, what, what goes first if people are on the squad spot and got next? Whichever one fills up first. So if you have three on the got next spot, uh, three come on the got next spot. And it goes, it, it trades off too. And then it'll trade on, off yeah. based on who had first uh, initially, right? Yep. So these are all, uh, this is how the squads work. Very simple. It's a session by session basis. It's not a persistent thing, but that's okay because it's as simple as literally hitting a button, inviting into a squad, and then you can travel together. It's not just on this park where you're at right now, Ronnie, but you can travel to other parks together. Now, we were talking about traveling a little bit. I'm going to read you how my park rep works, and then we're going to talk about some of the other stuff uh, with squads. Uh, before I get into that, um, here, here's, here's the great thing about squads. You just want to play with your friends, and that wasn't easy to do last year. Whether you prefer playing on the hardwood or the blacktop, we have made playing with friends on the same team simple with the squads feature. No more racing to call got next before a random player ruins things for you. Form a squad with anyone currently in your park by viewing a list of players L by L2, like I just showed. Well, it was funny because and last, sending them an invite. Last year, when we were when we you and I get on the park, everybody would be running in place trying to get on the yes. same park, and you and I couldn't even like team exactly. up so, to it, keep people. Exactly. Off, you know? Once you have a team together, uh, use the designated squad area located on each court. When that game is over, you will all step onto the court together as a squad to start your run. You will also all exit if you lose, but you will still be squatted up after a loss. This is immediately how you play with friends. That's really cool. Uh, now, let's talk about rep, Ronnie, because as you mentioned uh, right now, if you want to hit uh, the start button. I just want to show everybody this Old Town Flyers Are you just standing on that? Is that you owning the court? God, that looks just like you. Press start real quick, and uh, let's go to my park rep. Now, uh, go down to rookie rookie one. Now, you're going to see you're here. You're going to start here. I, yes. I have obviously been boosted to pro level three. Um, which will go away in a few minutes. But for, for the purposes, there's a reason why I'm at Pro Level 3. Absolutely. Now, here's the really cool thing about my park rep. This is coming straight from Jade again. Guys, if you're, if you're just joining us, welcome to our NBA 2K15. First look at the park, at my park, rather. And uh, this is really cool because uh, this is stuff that we haven't really talked about, the rep and No, traveling. we haven't talked about it at uh, all. We're going to have this uh, <laughs> blog up afterwards, written by the dev team. Shout out to Jay. Jay, you're the man. You have everybody excited. And uh, this is what Jay has to talk about when he talks about my park rep. Now that you've selected your home park, get out there and win. As you do, you will earn a reputation for yourself. My park rep is, earned, is an earn-only feature. 
Meaning you can't, this is how you get rep. You can't just uh, purchase it and progress. You have to play, you have to win. Teammate grades are involved this year, okay? This is an earned only feature which takes into account not only wins, but your teammate grade and the opponents you're playing against. There are four major rep levels with three sub levels earned in each. You start out as a rookie one and can rise through the pro and all-star ranks to the top tiered legend three rep level. Now, I don't wanna give away what you get when you're a legend, but I'm gonna say this. You're not gonna see legends for a long, long time. You're gonna have to play Even us. and earn it. Even us. Even us. So here, let's look through some of these <laughs> options. At rookie one, you start off at rookie one. So you get out there on the My Park for the first time, you're gonna be a rookie I'm, one. I'm uh, tweeting, by when the way. When you get to rookie two, rookie level My Park clothing. So some more clothing's gonna lock. Rookie three, signature introductions and earn My Park Championship rewards. Now, the My Park Championship is something we, we, uh, we kind of alluded to. Here's how it all goes down. From October 11th through to the weekend preceding the NBA All-Star Game, the My Park Championship will pit all three affiliations against one another in weekly rounds of competition. All travel restrictions are lifted during these events. After each round, the winning park's participants will be awarded prizes such as a VC, VC and rep bonuses, and exclusive accessories with attribute boosts. The first place park will earn two points per round and the second place one point. These points count towards the My Park Championship where the park leading to, at the end will win a brand newly designed park to call their home, Ronnie. That's amazing. Now here's the thing about traveling. <clears throat> you can't travel to other parks off the bat. When you get up to pro, so if you go up one, you're gonna see that now at pro level one, go back uh, two, pro level one, you're gonna get flashy passes and post game celebrations. Which we'll go over in a second. As well as pro level My Park clothing. So you're gonna unlock different tiers of stuff that you can actually equip to your My Player while playing my, the park. Flashy passes. Right, now go over one more. Pro two, you're gonna be able to finish alley-oop dunks. So you're not gonna be able to catch alley-oops no matter what your stats are, your attributes are, what kind of player you are, till you hit pro level two, as well as signature walks. We're gonna get into that. There's so much to talk about. We're gonna get into signature walks signature a little walks bit. Signature walks is Get fun. up to pro level three. Now you can travel to rival parks. So you're not gonna be able to travel there uh, until you earn that rep. So uh, here's the cool thing about rep. Um, as your rep in, uh, increases, you will unlock various My Park specific abilities, animations, and clothing as we're showing off here. If you're thinking of traveling to one of your rival's parks, you will need to be at least a Pro 3. When you do travel, your VC is doubled for defeating rival parks. I'm gonna walk on, I'm gonna kick Ronnie's ass at the Old Town Flyers, and my Sunset Beach Ballers, whoever's squatting up with me, we're gonna get double the VC for beating him. If you cannot travel or simply choose not to, defending your home park against ri rivals will earn you a significant rep bonus. So we talk about there's more at stake than just you, the park championships, but then also holding down your court. If me and my boys all of a sudden see some old town flyers coming up, or I'm with Sunset Beach, and I hope you're rolling with me at Sunset Beach, he's gonna be at flyers, and hey, Rivet City is gonna be another park where it's just gonna be amazing to see all the players going there. When, when we, we go over to fight them, if they win, they get a double the rep bonus or a rep you know bonus boost uh we win on uh another park once we can travel we're gonna get a bonus in vc double the vc you have incentive to hold it down so not only is it about you and getting your rep up but also holding down on the park because it incentivizes people to play better now one thing that we talked about last year there was a lot of criticism about reaching people always staying spamming the steal button yada 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 well the nice thing is we've added the teammate grade so you know how well you're playing at a glance without ever having to bring up any in-game menu. It also allows for people that want to play smart basketball to be rewarded for it. Assists, passing, you know, playing good defense, not leaving your guy and trying to just sit in the paint. Span, you know, if you try it, the steal system's completely reworked as Mike Wang was talking about, so you're not gonna just be able to sit there and steal, but if you do, your rep, your uh, teammate grade's gonna go down, you're not gonna earn any more rep. Can we talk about something, Chris? Um, yes, we can. I'm seeing something in the chat that's being brought up over and over again. Yes. Everybody's like, oh, I'm going to be a legend in a day. No. Uh, no, you're not. Um, we have made it very, very uh, difficult to be a legend anytime soon. And I'm not going to give you specifics, but I would be shocked if we saw a legend uh, this calendar year. I really would be. Yes. Um, so yes. uh, you're going to have to work for it. Hit circle real quick before we start talking about some of the all-star stuff. Uh, go, to, go to nearby one of the courts. 
I want to talk about uh, the My Park games, the waiting. My Park score has been brought down to 15 in the games. Am so, I here, Chris? Uh, yeah, you can be right here. This is fine. Uh, or if you want to show the other court. Uh, this is going to count down. Uh, this is going to limit the waiting uh, as long as the added eight court. So it's going to yeah. shorten up the eight wait courts. times. Yep. 100 my players were running around any individual park now at one time 80. in NBA 2K14. Now it is 80 at, as it stands right now at launch that will be available to run around these courts. So you have eight courts now, uh, more courts to play on, all, mostly only, three on threes. There's only a couple two on two it's courts. It's only the 15. And uh, now you only have a few people that are going to be waiting around uh, as opposed to, to more players. So this is really going to cut down on those wait times. It's a way of thinking about it in, in a different way. Uh, it's also going to be very nice, as my computer's dying here, uh, to be able to have more people playing at any given point. Uh, that also goes along with the rec center. And here's the really cool thing. Uh, we haven't even talked about the rec center yet. We got a lot Should to I talk about there? still. Uh, not yet. Let's, let, me, let me talk about something else. Last year, if you were in broadcast, you could see the score. It was, it was definitely something that the team took the feedback on. Uh, we've added an always-on game score overlay. So no more running to a spot on the court or changing camera is. angles to see what the current score is. It's going to be right there, always on, no matter what camera you're playing on. You're going to know the score of every game. Uh, this is stuff that, uh, you know, this is stuff that's going to just really help the experience. Um, the matchups are now based on height with waiting for position rather than simple join order. So it's going to uh, definitely match up people to... to you guys see how I'm out. walking right now? Yes. Uh, now let's talk about. Can so, we can we change up my walk? Let's talk about attribute upgrades first. So let's uh, let's hit the start button, Ronnie. And let's go into player upgrades. Now, based on your position, yeah, attribute upgrades right there. Based on your position, you're going to be able to dump into these buckets, and we have these di different buckets based on position. Right now, Ronnie is a small forward, so these buckets and you're going to be able to add attributes into. But there's a ceiling based on what kind of player you are. You can still be a point forward. I've been getting that question a lot. Can I be a point forward? Yes, but your, your passing and some of the things that you're gonna be able to do, they won't be as high as a point guard in terms of the playmaking and some of the passing and that kind of stuff. So, now here's, here's the great thing too. You have not earned any badges. You gotta play through your my career to earn those badges. So you're not gonna be able to uh, even dump in any points there yet because you have no badges. Uh, it's going to definitely be earned. You have to earn the badges. Uh, and when you're, when you're dumping into these attributes, they vary based on the uh, position. So a center is going to be able to rebound better than, say, a point guard. You still get your rebounds up on a, on a point guard. But, uh, you know, a point guard is going to have a higher playmaking ability than a center, right? This is really to help distinguish the play types from the different positions. And this is something the team really focused on. And this new bucket system is really going to allow that because you have ceilings that differ depending on what position A lot you are. of different uh, stats too, Chris. Look at this. A lot. Passing IQ. Yes. Passing vision. So you can see how it affects your my player. And if you want to dump one in real quick Pass to show perception. how that works. So hit the up button. Oh, on throw one into athlete. Yep. So yeah, so go ahead and purchase that. So you're gonna come in here to athlete one. Okay, hit X again. And you can see there's, uh, you, can, you can keep dumping them in, but you're gonna hit a ceiling, like I said. And let's say you, you wanted to fill up all these. You're not gonna be a 90. You're not going to even be at 90. You will be, uh, what, low 80s, mid 80s, and yeah. then you're going to have to earn badges and uh, become better than their, uh, you know, keep upgrading your player beyond just dumping in attributes. But like I said, these attributes have different ceilings based on position. So uh, that's something to think about. It's no longer the days of an athletic small forward being, you know, pr the primary dominant player on the court. It's going to really help distinguish position by position and uh, player by player. So. That's going to be something that uh, I think a lot of people are going to be excited about, and the team did a really phenomenal job of balancing out each position. So each position matters, you know. Center's going to be able to grab rebounds, you know, and they should, right? You know, making the, the center position matter and uh, playmaking, you know. Point guards should feel like they're in control of the ball and, and really be able to make those playmaking. So uh, that, is, that is definitely something that's cool. And the attribute cap, uh, it will be there for every position, and then beyond that, it's, it's playing more park. And uh, so basically the way it works is you have these attributes. You only have a certain number and you get capped. To earn the rest of those attributes, you have to play my career and my park. And you have to build up your rep, yada, yada, yada. So to become a better player, you have to put in the work. You have to play the game and you have to build up 
your rep levels, and you will earn more attribute uh, abil ability to add to more attributes. Yes, sir. So uh, it's very, very cool, a very, very cool system, and uh, it's definitely going to be more about earning this year. And, uh, you know, no 99s off the bat at all. You're going to have to earn the ability Should to Should we tell them about Legend 3? Well, let's go to All-Star 1. So coming back to, to earning rep, park-specific dunks, you're going to start to be able to equip it All-Star 1, jump shot celebrations, and we're going to get into animations in a bit, I promise. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about what jump shot celebrations are. All-Star level My Park clothing, so you're going to unlock even more clothing. And here's the cool thing. As you unlock this clothing, they're park specific clothing. Yep. So you're going to have different clothing than the Sunset Beach team, Ballers and the Rivet City. It's not just the team threads, it's also the. Uh, also the uh, Absolutely. For the uh, going on to All Star clubs. Level 2, you're going to see uh, park size ups and uh, stand emotes. We'll get into that in a little bit. Hard fouls with no calls, All Star Level 3, and 50% rival match. VC bonus. That's going to be really cool. That's going to be useful. And uh, Legend 1, higher steel success. And Legend level, my part clothing. Legend 2, high percentage game winning shots. So you're going to get that little boost at the end of games. You know where that's going to help? In a little place we call the Jordan Rec Center, which I think we should travel to right now. Because I don't think the world is ready for what Legend 3 is going to bring. I don't think the world is ready to know what happens when you reach Legend 3 in our game. Which, by the way, I don't know how many people are going to reach that. But no, we'll, we'll find I don't out. think that many are. But let's say you're ready to roll. You want to go play the Jordan Rec Center. Are we going to do animations? Or do you want to do We're going to get into that Center? after. Let's show them the Jordan Rec Center. Everybody wants to see the Jordan Rec Center. Come right here. You see the big Jumpman 23 logo. Uh, and here is your Jordan Rec Center. And I know a lot of people are excited for the Jordan Rec Center. is my computer is on 1%, so goodbye computer. This is the Jordan Rec Center, as shown. Full NBA size courts, simulation basketball, five on five, NBA rules, NBA officials, a clock, four quarters. This is where those hoop heads And every, every park has one, play. obviously. Yes. Every so, my park has one. So you can go at this at any time. You can squat up, as you can see. There's also got an X spot. So if you have a team of five, you can hop on a squad spot. If you have two or three or four, you're going to have to get on that got an X spot. But the nice thing is, it's so simple to squat up. You may play with somebody that just played really well and fed you the ball, and you could squat up with them right on the spot. Uh, there's people coming in from other parks. They start invading, and you want to get that double VC bonus or double rep. Squat up. Hold down the court. There's more at stake than just you and you're my player. But it's all working towards, of course, the park championship is going to be very important, but also building your character up, uh, getting those VC incentives and those, those rep incentives are going to be really, really cool. Uh, but the Jordan Rec Center is, uh, is something that uh, I know a lot of people are excited about. And uh, here's, uh, here's how Jay puts it. Now, street ball isn't for everyone. There are those of us that prefer the sound of the ball bouncing on a hardwood court floor the rush of a fourth quarter comeback, referees, and rules. We've got you covered. The Jordan Rec Center features four full-size courts featuring five-minute quarters, 5v5, NBA rules, basketball as we love it. Games played here will also count towards your My Park rep and the My Park championship. So while affiliations are very vital and important, all these games are going to count towards your rep, Ronnie. And that's really good because let's say you want to hold it down, you want to hold down for your affiliation, you got to roll with your affiliation in the uh, Jordan Rec Center, but it's all going to count towards rep all and the My Park it Championship. It counts towards the My Park Championship, whether you're in the arena or whether you're on the park. Really awesome. Very cool. I, I know we're going to be streaming get out quite, a, quite a bit of this. Yeah, so and to exit, mm -hmm. you turn right, and you can see those big signs. Exit to park. With the arrows. I don't know if that's spelled out for you anymore, but there it is. I can't wait to get um, some time in the drink.